A warm Saturday morning greeted the townsfolk of a cozy village in the mountains of India. The summer sun had just risen, casting its golden rays on the streets as villagers got ready for the day. On one side of the street, the air was filled with the aroma of freshly baked pastries. A merchant had finished setting up his shop ready to offer delicious treats to villagers. Across the street, under the shade of a mango tree, stood a wise monk. He was appreciating the cool breeze and the peaceful atmosphere as he waited for the bus. The mango tree stretched its branches high into the sky, creating a protective canopy from the sun for all those standing beneath it. Contained by his thoughts, the monk didn't seem to notice as an unripe mango bounced off his head and rolled to the ground. It joined rotting mangoes that had already fallen. The merchant, observing the scene from his shop, wondered how a green mango could have fallen from the tree. Perhaps it was a mischievous squirrel, the merchant thought, scratching his head. The bus seemed to be running late that morning. However, the monk seemed unaffected by the delay. He took the opportunity to gaze up at the majestic mango tree, admiring its beauty and delicious fruits. When he returned his attention to the road, another unripe mango fell, missing his head by a hair's breadth. Moments later, another one followed, and then another. It's raining mangoes, the monk exclaimed, bursting into deep laughter from the depths of his belly. I should have brought an umbrella, he added, finding humor in the situation. On the other hand, the merchant's jaw dropped in disbelief. What is happening, he wondered aloud. And why is this monk laughing? He couldn't understand how the monk remained composed. The unexpected mango storm suddenly ceased when a tiny flip-flop tumbled down from the tree and landed in front of the monk. The monk heard a soft gasp above him and turned his attention towards it. Ah! he exclaimed, now realizing the cause of the fruity downpour. And it was no squirrel. With his hiding place revealed, a little boy climbed down from his mango fortress, exposing himself to the monk. Not only had the mango tree provided shade, but it also served as a perfect hideout. My boy, the monk began, his voice calm and gentle. I believe you dropped something. He handed the boy his left flip-flop. The boy, still amused by the mango incident, snatched his flip-flop and ran away as if his life depended on it. The monk remained surprisingly calm, choosing not to yell after the boy. The concerned merchant walked over to seek an explanation. He wondered why the monk had let the boy get away without reprimanding him. The monk's response to the concerned merchant was intriguing. He picked up a rotten mango from the ground and extended his hand to the merchant, saying, This is for you. Please take it. The merchant, taken back and slightly furious, thought to himself, This monk must be crazy. Then he questioned out loud, Why would I take a rotten mango from you? The monk's response was a question of his own. Are you sure you don't want my rotten mango? What if I give you two? He reached for another mango that hadn't stood the test of time very well. The confused merchant proclaimed, I do not want your rotten mango. The monk calmly placed the mangoes in a nearby trash bin. He had a valuable lesson to share, one that could change this merchant's life. My friend the monk began, his voice full of warmth. Just as you firmly declined my offer of rotten mangoes, I, too, chose not to be bothered by the boy's actions. Remember, many will offer you their rotten mangoes. But just like you were in your right mind moments ago, you can choose not to take the dirty mangoes or the negativity of others. The merchant nodded, his young eyes filled with understanding. He looked into the monk's eyes and proclaimed, I understand what you're teaching me. From that day forward, the merchant gently reminded himself of this experience any time he was met with negative people.